A revolution is brewing in Pakistan's $20 billion restaurant industry. Already there are three cloud kitchens that are making inroads into the industry and over time will change the way Pakistanis eat out. So what are cloud kitchens? Cloud kitchens are remote kitchens that do not offer dining facilities and only prepare and deliver food. They've seen a boom because of the coronavirus pandemic and will continue to increase because the nature of dining out and restaurant management is changing. Because these kitchens do not only serve the consumer end of the market, they also serve, perhaps more importantly, the producers of food, the restaurants and their ends. Taimur Hassan looks at the future of cloud kitchens. Restaurants operating with the traditional dine-in model have always been a happy business to be in. But over the years, the industry has evolved from being composed of restaurants only to include allied players such as technology and logistics companies moving in specifically to cater to deliveries for these restaurants, thereby creating multiple industries within an industry. So where do cloud kitchens come in? Well, the problem in the industry is a simple one. Setting up an entire restaurant is an expensive task and cloud kitchens are all about optimizing restaurant operations cost and reducing focus on brick and mortar and more on deliveries, which can all be done through a kitchen. It is the same for restaurants looking to expand as well as those looking to start new business in the restaurant industry. Think of it this way. If you want to start a new restaurant, you can simply open up a cloud kitchen in some small alley, avoid huge rents and expensive staff, and focus on marketing through Instagram and delivering food. If the food is good enough, you will eventually make enough money to open a physical location. Now look at it another way. If a restaurant opens up in Lahore in the Gulberg area and suddenly gains a lot of popularity, people will come there to eat, but they will also want to order from there. But will the eatery be able to deliver to far-flung areas like Wapta Town or Johar Town? For that matter, would they even be able to deliver to somewhere like DHA? To cater to these areas, they would have to open up new branches. That is an expensive endeavor. Instead of this, they could simply use cloud kitchens. In face of the set challenges of supply and demand, two cloud kitchen companies, Karachi-based Hotpod and Food Panda, are offering cloud kitchen services to food entrepreneurs to start new businesses, services for up-and-coming restaurants looking to launch, and existing restaurants looking to scale. Helmed by the founder of Boa Brands, Abdus Samad Rashid, Hotpod's idea is to be a digital franchisee for delivery-only services. Now, if a restaurant wants to expand into multiple geographies, it can give a franchise to Hotpod that will then operate it in its cloud kitchen in a particular geography. But it is not as simple as that. What Hotpod wants to do is that it is going to operate multiple brands from the same location and those multiple brands will not be theirs. Save the ownership of the brand from cooking to deliveries Hotpod is going to do everything that a traditional franchisee does, except that it is for delivery-only customers, for brands looking to scale at minimum costs and risks. Food Panda is trying to do the same thing, but unlike Hotpod, Food Panda does not operate kitchens itself. Its pitch to the clients is that you should expand to a particular geography because we know from our data that trends are favorable for your brand in that particular geography. Food Panda then goes on to do all the heavy lifting of setting up a kitchen for its clients, which are operated by these clients themselves. Food Panda then takes care of the deliveries. While both these startups are trying to do the same thing for restaurants, their varying model does not necessarily put them in competition with each other. They both are happy alternatives for restaurants. For Hotpod, Food Panda is even a partner in making the deliveries happen through its fleet, besides Hotpod's own fleet of riders. The Hotpod stresses that it wants to keep its rider fleet low because it does not want to be identified as a logistics company. 